I reckon if you are a Titleist fan and you play Titleist irons, you always play Titleist irons. Correct me if I'm wrong. You see, I'm not a Titleist player. I've not ever had Titleist irons and therefore there's a reason for it. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I don't play them ever. You see, the thing is, I always struggle to get excited about Titleist irons. They just, they never leap off the shelf to me. There's never something that I go, you know, I just really want to have a go with these new irons from Titleist. They're very sort of, maybe it's traditional. I don't know what you'd call it. I was going to say old fashioned, which is a bit unfair because what I've got in my hand right now is the Titleist T100 and the T100S is also we'll be looking at. And they're a classic iron. They look classic they look really well built there's absolutely nothing wrong with them but at the same time they don't jump off the shelf they don't make me want to hit them there's just nothing majorly exciting in there that makes me want to play these irons and i want to know who is it that wants to play these t100s little chip and run by the way we're only playing 100 yards i felt quite good so I'm going to start by putting some pictures up of this T100 and the 100S and you tell me what you think of them in the comments down below. I said on that earlier clip it's very classy in its looks, there's not a great deal going on, it's minimalistic, it's been stripped down, arguably like I said in some eyes that's a nice looking iron and it is, it's very much a player's profile, it's that thin bottom line classic shaping from above and I must admit at a dress it looks superb it is that player's iron as a reference there's no offset whatsoever thin top line at a dress looks an absolute quality player's iron but I still don't want to play it so although I think looks play a major part in your decision making process when you're buying a set of irons it's of course not the be all and end all and surely performance overrules everything so what I'm going to do is test this club out here on the par 3 course at four golf and then we're going to collect dry ball data and is performance going to be the key factor in these t100 irons this makes me want to put some tightest irons in the bag finally right so we've been on the par three course and they're kind of a bit three quarter half shots so we're going to get a few shots here out on the range and see uh, what we can find in terms of that feel and sound element Real good strike. The one thing to notice is the ball flight again goes back to loft. Uh, 34 degree traditional loft in 7 iron. Um, and the ball flight reflects that really high. But, but powerful as well. The one thing that Titleist mentioned, I always kind of find it a bit of a you know, a weird selling point, if you like, is uh, improved turf interaction. I've no idea what that means, really, because if you hit fat and heavy, it's fat and heavy. I mean, it's like, I don't know. But having said that, it clips it nice. I'm, I'm liking my turf interaction so far, whatever that means. Right, let's try one more before we go back inside and collect dry ball data. Oh, a little bit of a slip there, but still caught it. I mean, again, what I will say is that they do, they, they sit really nice at a dress. It's a real, again, for me personally, real compact profile, no offset, really look good. It's, um, I can't knock it from that uh, line at a dress. And like I said, to be honest with you, I've been a little bit cruel on Titleist so far in terms of uh, the reasoning behind my sort of non-selection of these irons in my bags over the years. And I know I'm gonna take a bit of stick for it, so by all means, Give me your uh, negative feedback down below on what I'm missing here. My own friend Brian plays these irons. So Brian, why are these in your bag, mate? Now I've had plenty of balls in terms of dry ball data and I've got that collected. But I can really tell you exactly what it says right now without even seeing the numbers, if you like. Um, it does exactly what you would expect and what I would expect, and that is it travels around 150 carry. It's a 34 degree 7 iron. I'm just collecting numbers on the T100, by the way. The T100S is two degrees stronger, and it'll all be relative. The spin control is incredible. In fact, it spins perhaps just a little bit too much as it stands right now, the setup that I've got. It's spinning over 7,000 revs at times, uh, launching extremely high again, back to sort of 20, 21 degrees in terms of launch. But it's doing everything you would expect to do from a 34 degree 
iron, no matter what numbers on the bottom. In terms of forgiveness, I've hit the ball really well with this iron. Always a massive issue to try and gauge whether an iron is forgiving or not. And uh, Titleist again say in their sort of blurb that it's a player's iron, but it's got more forgiveness than ever. There's tungsten packed into it. I'd probably agree. I mean, it's a very, very playable iron. I've done this for weeks now, whereby naturally scared off by this when you call it a player's iron, a low handicapper's iron, scared away, absolute load of nonsense. Try the irons yourself and find out whether you suit them. I'd have no problem gaming that iron whatsoever. So if I go back to the question, I'll put the dry ball data up at the end as they have been doing of late. If I go back to the question at the beginning of the video was sort of why would anyone choose to play these irons and I'll reference my friend Brian again. I reckon his answer would be because performance overrides everything else. And I think if you, if you are looking purely at performance, then this iron did incredibly well. It was faultless. It did everything you would expect it to do. The one thing that I would add that still has me questioning quite where this sits in the whole scheme of things with other brands is that first for me, if I'm buying a player's iron, I want it to be forged. That is a number one thing that I would put on the list. I'd want it to be a a little bit better looking than that personally, but I'd want it to be forged and then I'd still expect the performance to be exactly the same as what I found in that. So when you're up against the likes of the MP20s, the tailor-made uh, M -M, uh, P7MBs, you know, them kind of clubs for me just look a little bit better, certainly feel better. So that's why still I would struggle to find out as to where that sits and why quite tight list never quite ticked the bo every box for me on a personal level but like i said you stick your comments in the box below and tell me otherwise as ever thank you for watching uh hit that subscribe button like if you did like the video and uh, more importantly like i said stick your feedback below and i'll uh, i'll see you all soon no offense titleist by the way